हिंदुस्तान में ना ह्यूमन की वैल्यू बहुत कम है जान की वैल्यू नहीं है वेरी ऑनेस्टली आई थिंक इंडियन इको सिस्टम नीड्स वन करेक्शन आर सर्जन शुड बी पेड मोर सो वी कॉल द पेशेंट सर सर वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन यू हैड योर प्रोसीजर स्केड्यूल यू आर सपोज टू कम वॉट हैपन सो वी ड्रो फ्रॉम गुड़गांव टू नोएडा पिक डेम आप इन अ कार एंड वी ड्रो इम टू द हॉस्पिटल ऑन हिज वे ही टोल्ड अस दैट हाउ नर्वस ही वॉज आई थिंक यूज इन मिड सिक्सटीज दैट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन इज लाइफ हेल्थ केयर हैज नॉट बीन एवल टू सॉल्व नॉट जस्ट डू नो दी ट्रेशन रेट इन हॉस्पिटल ऑफ नर्सेज इज लिटली एटी परसेंट बहुत सारे लोगों ने ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स को सेलिब्रेट किया किसी ने उसको फोर्ब्स के मैगजीन में डाल दिया किसी ने उनको यू नो शार्क टैंक बना दिया तो सबको लगा ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स की जर्नी तो बड़ी लैविश है लेकिन उनको पीछे दिखता नहीं है कितना मेहनत होता है Welcome to the Indian Silicon Valley podcast. I'm your host Jibraj and today I have with me the co-founder of Pristine Care, Har Simmer Bean Singh. This episode also comes at an interesting point because there was an article which recently mentioned a lot of things about the company and that was not uh, by the way heard from from the founder side as to what they had to say about the things mentioned in the article. So we want to have this conversation to understand what the founders have to say about things that were mentioned in the article. and also about the model of healthcare in and of itself right healthcare is perhaps one of the most trust in ingrained sector right it is a very delicate sector that requires a high amount of trust building and it is these incidents that can spoil or make trust so we want to address those head on thank you so much harsh for joining me it's an absolute pleasure to be hosting you and addressing all of these things that have been talked about thank you for having me it's a, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, yeah Uh, I I think the article is just an aspect, and we respect the journalist's opinion. Yeah. Uh, but we very responsibly say that, uh, you know, they presented a sort of perspective yeah. which was extremely narrow, and uh, and uh, you know, maybe we get a chance to talk about uh, what really, really goes on yeah. behind building the most, uh, you know, the most advanced, but also the most. a patient caring organization in the world and what we doing about it and yeah maybe we'll share some of those things and uh, everybody will have their opinion absolutely and i've had the pleasure of you know hosting you uh, a while back on the podcast itself yes. and also hosting you uh, a couple of blocks away from this building in an auditorium yeah. so it's been uh, a couple of interactions in the making i've known you for a couple of years yes. now and i've had the pleasure of understanding how deeply you've thought about some of this and it's long due to also understand the founder side of the story right because we're also in a system where so much of this can be addressed by the people building it yeah. so why not hear that side of the story sure um i think couple of things right and maybe let's address the elephant in the room right broadly the way we look at healthcare it always looks like that the provider of health and the patient want different things right which is to say that the provider of healthcare in this case pristine care will only make money if you do more surgeries right fundamentally um, and the patient of course wants to get healed of whatever sickness they are going through or in this case the process and the surgery they have to undergo uh, in your model right uh, now many would argue that the incentive here for you as a company uh, is to increase your sales is to increase the number of surgeries and thus so a lot of these incentives are about you know how does the patient sort of like so there were talks around patients getting incentivized to get surgeries done first doctors getting incentivized to push for surgery uh, employees at the organization pushing patients to get to surgery right all of this is related to the incentives in yeah. healthcare talk to us about this entire trifecta right like mm. how do you look at this as a company how do you be responsible about this and what is the reality behind the scenes to make yeah. it happen no no absolutely i think uh, what most people don't realize is uh, while we are in healthcare right we are also a for profit organization right so uh, we we want to make money but but the but the reality is pristine is not a you know a product company right we don't have a shoes we don't have a mobile phone uh, we don't have a online website where people come and does something and pay money we make money when a patient gets healthy right, right. whatever the world might say this is the final blade and tooth right. so for us hum paise nahi bana sakte if somebody doesn't get well right yeah. and if we if we understand that fact well the only and only reason round karke round karke pristine exist karta hai wo yahi karta hai ki pristine aayega sorry patient aayega they will be unwell if they will be unwell 
if we give them a, you know a cure and they become healthier they will pay us so i think our incentives are fundamentally aligned to make patients healthy i think that's we cannot forget it so anything which we do has to justify this part ab ab i think the second aspect for everyone to understand is that uh, we are in elective surgery right uh, uh elective by design bahut sare logon ko because it's a tricky word elective ka matlab hota hai non emergency correct planned surgeries matlab kisi ki jaan to nahi ja rahi hai hopefully but uh aap plan kar sakte hain so you are in little bit pain but you can plan it so anything from cataract hair transplant kidney stone uh, hernia piles varicose vein you know mostly these surgeries can be planned that you can meet a doctor share their uh, share your concern show your reports and then plan for your procedure of course there are the exception where somebody middle of the night can get a kidney stone pain right where it gets stuck in a urethra or somebody might get an appendix pain where it is more like an unemergency kind of surgery but that situation sometimes we get emergency because of tolerance of pain but largely it is planned surgeries so pehle to clear karte hain hum surgeries karte hain i think the second aspect is we when a, when a, when a patient comes to us right they don't come and tell us ki yaar mere pet mein kuch ho raha hai and i'm feeling little bit uh, uneasiness uh, you know and why don't you look what's going wrong and we'll tell hey by the way you have a gall stone or by the way you might have a hernia or by the way your appendix might be and i'm using a very you know simplistic example when patients come to see us they tell us hey i have been diagnosed with a piles i think i need hernia my general physician or my gp has you know diagnose this with this so Achha. majority patients which reach out to pristine come with diagnosed disease because we are very 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 well positioned as surgeons mm. so pristine is in 40 cities we have 200 plus clinics we have 400 plus super specialty surgeons on our you know who work with pristine full time they are like you and me they are like employees of the company they sit down in these clinics so we are right. surgeons and it's very well positioned so when a patient reaches out to us they don't come and tell us ke mere sar mein dukh raha hai they mm. come and tell us कि मेरे को मेरे डॉक्टर ने सर्जरी प्रिस्क्राइब की है या मेरे डॉक्टर ने एडवांस स्टेज प्रिस्क्राइब किया प्लीज हैव अ लुक दैट्स द फर्स्ट एस्पेक्ट द सेकंड एस्पेक्ट हेयर जिब्राज इज लुक एट द सर्जरीज वी डू राइट वी डू हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट राइट बाय द वे इन माय टर्बन इट डजेंट सी बट आई एम आल्सो लूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ हेयर नाउ हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट इज अ वेरी चॉइस बेस्ड डिजीज आई आई कैन नॉट आई कैन नॉट कम एंड टेल यू यू नीड एन हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट इट्स अ लाइफस्टाइल चॉइस राइट देन देयर इज कैटरैक्ट व्हिच इज इंडिया में करीब 8 से 10 मिलियन लोगों को कैटरैक्ट है You cannot fake a cataract, or mm-hmm. cataract का इलाज दवाई से नहीं होता है, okay. right? Then there is ear, nose, throat. I also have tonsils, by the way. I've been advised a procedure or a medicine, right? So nobody is pushing me for a surgery, but doctor said, "अरे यार तुम्हें tonsil है, हर सर्दी में तुम बीमार होते हो. Uh, you know, ideally you should take these medicines, you will cure. But if you want a permanent solution, maybe you can think about that, mm-hmm. right? Then we do gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is like loose male, uh, like a male chest, which is uh, which is loosened up. अगेन दुनिया में कोई तेल तो है नहीं कि इससे चेस्ट ठीक हो जाएगी इट्स अ वेरी लाइफ स्टाइल चॉइस समबडी माइट बी अनकंफर्टेबल जस्ट लाइक हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट समबडी माइट नॉट बी अनकंफर्टेबल देन वी डू यू नो गोल्ड स्टोन यू नो एंड आई एम नॉट अ डॉक्टर बाय द वे सो पार्टन माय मेडिकल नॉलेज बट एटलीस्ट आई एम नॉट अफेयर दैट गोल्ड स्टोन वक्त के साथ रहते अपने आप ठीक हो जाएंगे एंड यू नो द रियालिटी इज आई लॉस्ट माई ओन आंट माई मॉम्स रियल सिस्टर टू गोल्ड स्टोन कैंसर लास्ट ईयर and she came from a difficult family background but what i can tell you is had she been diagnosed earlier in her life few years earlier and somebody would have held her to get it removed she would have not ended uh, you know in difficult state in fact my one of my best friends who works with us as well tarun his his mother in law passed away with the same ailment in covid so gallstones cannot be removed without a surgical intervention and there is no other way to do it we do hernia कोई इलाज नहीं है दुनिया में हरने का कोई दवाई ठीक नहीं करती उसका कोई और तरीका नहीं है वी डू नी रिप्लेसमेंट अभी मेरे जो को फाउंडर है डॉक्टर वैभव उनके फादर का नी रिप्लेसमेंट हुआ है ही हैज बीन थिंकिंग ऑफ नी रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स राइट दैट गाय सेवेंटी फाइव फॉर वेन ही वॉज फिफ्टी फाइव द फर्स्ट टाइम ई फेल्ट दैट हिज वॉक वॉज नॉट कम्फर्टेबल वेन ही वॉज माई माई को फाउंडर गॉट मैरिड अबाउट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स अगो ऑन इज मैरिज डेट ही सेट कि अब तो मैं शादी हो गई बेटे की अब तो करा लूंगा ही इज गॉट इन आफ्टर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स now it's a decision which was in the making but it's knee replacement there are people who will never get it so what i'm trying to sort of push the point out is hum surgery kar rahe hain hum mobile ka sim nahi bech rahe hain ki maine aapko do baar hi pooch liya to aap kar loge right so surgery is a very very advanced 
I mean, you're going to go inside an operation theater, somebody is going to literally give you an anesthesia, you're going to be subconscious or rather unconscious for a while and we're going to literally cut open your body. Yeah. Do you think, is it like a credit card that I have told you that sir, you get a free credit card, you can take it, you can take it. It's a very conscious decision, can take from the first time the patient meets us up to almost like 15 minutes. Hmm. I think the second thing which people, or the third thing which people don't realize is, in Hindustan, the human value is very low, it's not the value of human. In the West, elective or non-emergency procedures are given preference because it happens that insurance company has to pay money. So if a person is sick and the disease will be more and more difficult, the costs will go high. So they would recommend an elective surgery very, very quickly. In our country, because of so many socio-economic factors, a small piles of surgery, which can be in 15-20 minutes, can be in the OD procedure for 1 hour. It's a very small procedure. And you can be cured like very healthy. People die with it. So people take this choice of healthcare towards the later half of life. So the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about 60 to 70 years. Then the average age of patient is about Surgery is a little 4 million people, but so many of them struggle. Every second or third Indian has some grade of piles. Now, if you have a little grade of piles, you can do it with your device. And if you think that, you know, it is like saying that I have to do weight loss. Someone says that I will do my diet and I will do my exercise in the morning and I will do my other side and I will do keto. I will do it for 20 days. So I think it's just a way that someone has to do my diet and somebody is okay. To use a surgical intervention and get cured faster and maybe more permanent. So, we can't force anyone. I think the final thing which we are all very data driven people. Every day, 36,000 patients who need a surgical intervention reach out to Pristine and talk to our care coordinators. And we have 700 care coordinators plus. 36,000. Of these 36,000, 15,000 are new patients. That means they have been reached out, reaching out to us for the first time. The number of patients who end up meeting our doctors is only 1,200. And the number of patients who might undergo procedure is 200, 300, right? So that numbers from 36,000 to 200, 300 a day is, is no conversion metrics. Yeah. Mother, very honestly, I, I, at the end of the day, I'm building an enterprise or in the end of the year, I have a statement of PNL statement. If my bus is running, don't you think 36,000 people yeah. surgery surgery? Correct. But the reality is everybody will not need it. Everybody will not afford it. Everybody is not advised for it. Everybody is, uh, you, you know, not even uh, ready for it. Correct. You know, I got a surgery done in my shoulder. I have been suffering for it for 17 years. I was 17 years to decide that I was going to surgery. Karana. So I think the context that we can force kar sakte hai surgery and it can be an incentive ho sakte hai is nearly an impossible, impossible proposition. In fact, you know what, and, and maybe just to uh, finish the point, the doctors, right, the surgeons, Correct. we are a very, very, very data-driven company, fully automated. Mm -hmm. We have a team of almost 150 engineers, which, uh, you know, uh, which track everything, every bit of patient cell, right from the first time they reach out to us to post-surgery treatment. So when a patient a doctor, they have to do an entire electronic medical record, any EMR. A doctor can't change it. Once he has punched into data, it is there for life, right? A surgeon meets a patient. He has to record every symptom. Every symptom is in the, in the book. It's not a paper prescription. It's in the book. It's in electronic record. Anybody can come into our office. They can actually check it. So that means the surgeon, when he's examining, he or she is examining the patient, they are putting down all patient's symptoms. And then they are prescribing a surgery. In fact, we have now built a system where a surgeon, if prescribes the symptoms, and they don't add up to be a surgery, cannot even suggest it. Even if the surgeon wants it. While we don't want to, you know, there can be, um, there can be situations where technology is wrong and doctor has to judgment overrule. Calls. There are judgment calls and we allow for those exceptions, but they are far in, they're less than 0.5%. System will only not allow you to suggest the surgery. So the chance, this thought that we can force the surgery to force the surgery is nearly, nearly impossible. It just doesn't make sense. Got it.
सो आई आई टेक अवे फ्रॉम दैट कि पोस्ट डायग्नोसिस मोस्टली आते हैं इस पर भी कोई नंबर्स हैं हाउ मनी फोक्स आर पोस्ट डायग्नोसिस वर्सेज हाउ मनी फोक्स आर एक्सप्लोरिंग कि अच्छा मुझे ये प्रॉब्लम है आई वॉन्ट टू गेट अ सर्जरी डन सो यू नो just just the way we have uh, you know one of the factors as we as we interact you will realize is pristine has to build a trust huge factor right we have to build a trust in the system Absolutely. that a patient can sort of trust us on the decision we take for them correct so hota ke we have put in so many chambers in between that when a patient reaches out to us and they tell us hey i have never met a doctor i am suspecting this disease we don't even get them to meet a surgeon we suggest them hey looks like there could be multiple other things and you should meet a surgeon or uske niche hamara thoda matlab hi reason bhi hai see we at the end of the day we have surgeons right surgeons are also uh, you know remuneration wise slightly highly paid of course so we are optimizing as a very business entity their time we want to make sure that they meet the patients who really really need them otherwise we will have to say no to certain patients Correct. who might need the surgeon you know in their need second a surgeon is going to do a surgery they're going to go inside the hospital they're going to spend 2 3 4 hours and you know so there is there is the time management so we try to optimize that when they meet a patient the patient has already been advised a surgery or has been suggested that you might need a procedure so we are able to filter out the patient who have no clue that mm-hmm. hey i have something going on i don't know what it is we rather than suggest them to our Uh, you know gp network which we keep working with but we try to not schedule their appointment so all the 36 6000 patients and then the 12000 patients and the 201 which actually meet the surgeons all of them have either been advised a procedure or they have been suggested at some point in the time they might need a procedure so very very surgical in nature got it got it um going deeper there you know so one of the things that was also mentioned and one may wonder is that uh, doctor incentives right so, how you you know remunerate them Uh, cannot be based on variable compensation which rewards more surgeries because by definition then the doctors also want to uh, you know do more surgeries if they do more surgeries there'll be more money what is the solve for this and how do you look at this point? so so majority of no no fair question i think majority of doctors in pristine and, and this majority is upwards of 85% right mm-hmm. are on full time with pristine what that means is irrespective they do any surgery in a month they're going to be paid a very very handsome amount Got right and, and 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 uh, you know uh, since we're touching on the topic very honestly i think indian ecosystem needs one corrections mm-hmm. our surgeons should be paid more yeah you know my wife is also a doctor she's 35 she's been doing she's a pediatrician she's not a surgeon but both my co-founders are my friends are you know you have to think of surgeons life or a doctor's life 18 they enter medical school 23 23 and a half they finish their mbbs then they do a, a you know residency then they go for a, a masters or a, you know ms in surgery or ms in medicine uh, you know or some other form of a masters or post graduate school they spend two and a half three years there then they go for a senior residency for another three to four years then they go for a fellowship by the time they are ready to earn anything their age is 33 yeah. aur aaj ek 22 saal ka ladka engineering mein nikal ke seedha bolta hai ki you know you, you all understand give me a very handsome package right I... a doctor or a surgeon who's 33 will earn or 30 33 will literally earn a decent salary for the first time in their lives so by the time they are 40 right their salaries are not even at the level of a corporate salary uh, you know uh, very very honestly i think my salary is at 30 or 28 29 was more than our surgeons some of our surgeons salary at 40 to 43 and that's not a great place and so we need to start paying our surgeons higher and i think one of the things we've done is uh you know and when we started by the way we were not very sure what's the right way but i think as we have started to increase our surgeon salaries have increased by a mark of 50 70% so we need to as as a country as a healthcare ecosystem need to correct the surgeons on the doctor salary but so in our case we have made fixed component of doctor's procedure extremely extremely high which Got sort it. of takes care of the fact that they have to prescribe a surgery mm-hmm. then what we've done is we have built in a lot of protection uh, sort of protection methods Take so it. one of the first protection methods i've talked to is every patient who reaches out to pristine is first given a care coordinator right you know the the surprising thing is pristine mein 700 care coordinator hai har patient ko ek remote care coordinator milta hai pristine mein 200 front liners hai jo sirf cities mein hai jo patients ki admission discharge karate hain you know I, i don't know how many people understand pristine's model we are full stack yeah. but we are asset light what that means is hum khud ka clinic chalate hain hamare khud ke doctors hamare clinic mein baithte hain 
लेकिन जब एक पेशेंट को सर्जरी करना होता है तो हम एक पार्टनर हॉस्पिटल में जाते हैं और उनका ऑपरेशन थिएटर और रूम रेंट पे लेते हैं हमारा ही डॉक्टर जाता है हमारा ही पेशेंट जाता है और हम सर्जरी करते हैं लेकिन हम इसे काफी स्टेप्स आगे जाते हैं सारी एडवांस मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट प्रिस्टीन इंश्योर्स इट सो वी हैव ब्रॉड वी हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन द मोस्ट एडवांस मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट एवरी सर्जरी इन प्रिस्टीन राइट फ्रॉम एयर ट्रांसप्लांट टू नी रिप्लेसमेंट इज द मोस्ट एडवांस इन इंडिया इफ नॉट दू सो वी बॉड दीज इक्विपमेंट सो इक्विपमेंट्स भी हॉस्पिटल जाती है हम और भी एक स्टेप आगे जाते हैं हम पेशेंट को घर से लेके आते हैं हम पेशेंट को एडमिशन कराते हैं एवरेज एडमिशन टाइम इन हॉस्पिटल इज थ्री आवर्स प्रिस्टीन के एटी टू परसेंट पेशेंट का थर्टी टू मिनट्स है राइट सो वी डू दैट सो देर आर टू हंड्रेड पीपल ऑन द ग्राउंड जस्ट मैनेजिंग दीज थिंग्स देर आर हंड्रेड पीपल ऑन द इन दी ऑफिस वो आर जस्ट अरेंजिंग फॉर पेशेंट्स एंड अटेंडेंट्स फूड द रियलिटी इज मेजोरिटी हॉस्पिटल इन इंडिया डोंट रियली हैव अ ऑर्गेनाइज किचन और अगर है भी है तो वो पेशेंट्स को तो फूड देते हैं अटेंडेंट को कोई खाना देता okay. आप बड़े से बड़े अस्पताल में चले जाइए अटेंडेंट का खाना खुद से पैसा देना पड़ता है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम अटेंडेंट स्ट्रगल फॉर इट सो दर हंड्रेड मेंबर टीम इन दफिस इज लुकिंग फॉर अटेंडेंट्स फूड देन देर इज हंड्रेड मेंबर टीम इन दफिस विच चेक्स विद पेशेंट्स हु आर एडमिटेड इन साइड द हॉस्पिटल एवरी थ्री आवर्स है आई यू डूइंग ओके इज एवरी थिंग रॉन्ग ऑफकोर्स वाट्सएप बॉट चलते हैं चलते हैं देन देर इज अ फिजिकल टीम बिकॉज इज अ फिजिकल गाय फिजिकल बॉडी इन साइड द हॉस्पिटल then there is a 100 member team which is just ensuring that no doctor is ever late no doctor is in need of an emergency equipment the 100 member team just doing that ubers bhi book karte ho aap aur uber bhi book karte hain hum log humne uber ola blue smart sab se drive kiya hua hai aur fir vendors bhi hain hum log wo ghar se bhi leke aate hain ghar bhi chhodte hain aur in area in saro ke beech bahut choti choti cheeze hain you know maybe diverting from the question 2019 2018 very late we started the business 2019 mein we were doing probably 15 20 procedures or surgeries a month Correct. yeah 30 surgeries a month Correct. and we had this uh, we had a elderly couple out of noida to unka beta rehte the us mein to unhone first time reach out kiya fir unke parents aaye humse milne unka procedure hona tha on the day of the surgery 8 baje subah unke bete ka mujhe us se call aata hai ki harsh uh, you know we'll not be able to do the surgery today and you have to understand we are such a small organization we have organized so many different things and we were a team of 3 4 people three co-founders and two supporters तो हमारे लिए तो इट वाज लाइक यू नो द वर्ल्ड हैज एंडेड एंड सडनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ पेशेंट्स आर नॉट गोन शो ऑफ दिस मंथ हाउ विल वी इवन सर्वाइव राइट सो वी पोलाइटली आस सर व्हाट्स द कंसर्न ही सेज माय डैड हैज हैविंग कोल्ड फीट सो वी कॉल्ड द पेशेंट सर सर व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन यू हैड योर प्रोसीजर स्केड्यूल यू आर सपोज टू कम वॉट हैपन इस बेटा मेरे गाड़ी चला के आने वाला था मेरे और कोई रिलेटिव तो नहीं है एंड सुबह सुबह आई एम जस्ट नॉट एबल टू ड्राइव माई सेल्फ यू नो वी हैड नथिंग एल्स टू डू इन आर लाइफ सो वी ड्रो फ्रॉम गुड़गांव टू नोएडा picked him up in a car and we drove him to the hospital on yeah. his way he told us that how nervous he was i think he was in mid 60s that for the first time in his life he was actually going to be in a hospital first time in his life 60 years 60 years yeah he was extremely healthy for the first time he was going in his life uh, he was going to go to the hospital in his life son abroad only son abroad husband wife no relatives in noida he just couldn't gather the uh, you know the pressure of driving I think and and that touched us and we said hey why don't we give a d- option of travel to every patient we are a high ticket size uh, you know sort of a patient AOV so we said we can afford that Correct. and since then to today I think हम हर हर महीने कम से कम नहीं तो तीस हजार Uber और uh, Uber और Ola and now Blue Smart our good friends Blue Smart हम वो rides book करते हैं and not just in Delhi by the way even in Ranchi इवन इन गुवाहाटी इवन इन चंडीगढ़ जहाँ पेशेंट को घर से लेके आते हैं पेशेंट को घर पे ड्रॉप करते हैं बहुत बार तो पेशेंट के अटेंडेंट को भी ड्रॉप कर रहे होते राइट एंड यू नो आई एक्चुअली हैड द सेम एक्सपीरियंस वेन माई मॉम अंडर एंड प्रोसीजर एंड आई थॉट आई वॉज ही आई एम दिस पंजाबी गाय फियरलेस एंड सुपर ब्रेव बट द डे ऑफ द सर्जरी ऑफ माई मॉम एंड आई एम ड्राइविंग अर टू द हॉस्पिटल आई हैड कोल्ड फीट एंड आई थिंक फॉर फॉर आस आई थिंक एज एज अ टीम वी बिल्ट एवरी प्रोसेस यू नो वेरी मच बेज ऑन एक्सपीरियंसिंग द पेशेंट साइड सो एवरी पेशेंट इज ड्रिवन टू द हॉस्पिटल राइट सो हम हम इतना सारा कुछ करते हैं करीबन 1500 लोग ऐसे हैं प्रिस्टीन में जो एक नॉर्मल हॉस्पिटल में होते नहीं hmm. 1500 पीपल इन प्रिस्टीन 700 केयर कोऑर्डिनेटर्स 200 पीपल ऑन द ग्राउंड फॉर लुकिंग फॉर एडमिशन एंड डिस्चार्ज 100 पीपल इन द ऑफिस बुकिंग ऊबर्स 100 पीपल इन द ऑफिस लुकिंग एट पेशेंट फूड राइट एंड 100 पीपल जस्ट टू इंश्योरिंग द डॉक्टर्स डोंट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज़ दे आर गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ अ पेशेंट्स दिस 1500 ऑड पीपल डोंट एग्जिस्ट इन नॉर्मल हेल्थ केयर Yeah. and that's why our digital nps is 62 and you know the reason i'm saying digital is no manual intervention and you know many of the sometimes uh, listeners don't understand 
NPS is like a net promoter score. Correct. It basically basically means how many of your users will recommend your service to somebody, to somebody else. Sixty-two yeah. percent. India ki healthcare ki average chontis hai thirty-four, and I think it takes us so much effort to do it. Correct. And hence, and still, sometimes there are questions around. Hey, have you forced somebody to say this? It's nearly impossible. Right. You know, doctors, doctors EMR bharte hai. Har doctor ko. हर पेशेंट की पूरी डिटेल भरनी है देर आर 150 फिफ्टी पॉइंट बिफोर दे कैन सजेस्ट सर्जरी देन वी हैव ऑल दी एल्गोरिदम्स विच चेक ऑल दीज पॉइंट दैट हैज डॉक्टर मेड अ मिस्टेक देन देर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ डॉक्टर पुटिंग अप अ सर्जरी दैट टूमोरो इफ समी क्वेश्चन के यार मुझे सर्जरी के लिए आपने बोल दिया और सर्जरी की जरूरत नहीं थी अ डॉक्टर कैन लूज देयर लाइसेंस ऑफ प्रैक्टिस विच इज देर लाइवलीहुड देन इट डजन एंड देर देन देर आर डायग्नोस्टिक्स Every time doctor suggests a diagnostic, there's a different team which looks at. So doctor has no role in it. A different team looks at diagnostics. Then they upload the information. Again, doctor has to verify on our electronic records that diagnostic is necessary. It doesn't end there. Before the surgery, there's a pre-anesthesia check team. Pure dunya mein koi concept nahi hai. There's a pre-anesthesia check team which is sitting in our office. These are team of doctors who talk to the patients that hey, have you been advised surgery? Have you been explained everything? Uh, did you given a given an explanation? Were you un made understand why medicine says other surgery will help? Are you on blood thinning? Are you on uh, diabetes? Are you on any? Uh, are you are you an asthma patient? Do you have an implant or a you know sort of a supporter in your uh, implanted in your body? They do all these checks even before the patient lands up the hospital. It doesn't end wow. there. On the day of the surgery, patient gets to the hospital. Then another anesthesia check happens. Then the doctor, uh, the resident doctor undergoes the patient vitals. Surgeon, so उसके बाद आते हैं, right? Mm -hmm. So from the time a surgeon and advice surgery to the surgery happen, there are at least four set of people checks. who are checking uh, procedure. And then there is our technology. Mm -hmm. We map how many patients the doctor has seen, how many symptoms they were there, what kind of symptoms, and how many patients the doctor, uh, you know, set a surgery. We have done upwards of two and a half lakh surgery, so we have very very strong database. And we have mapped a million plus surgical patients, so we can actually tell if a doctor is making a mistake. And we share these insights and protection mechanisms to the doctor, telling them that you have to be super careful before you can advise a surgery. No, no, no. But but Jibra, I think the crux is not even this. The crux is, हम अगर मोबाइल फोन खरीदते हैं ना तो हम ऑनलाइन इंटरव्यूज पढ़ते हैं, रिव्यूज पढ़ते हैं, चार लोगों से बात करते हैं, हम सर्जरी की बात कर रहे हैं. आपको पता है सर्जरी इन इंडिया इज अ फैमिली डिसीजन इट्स नॉट एन इंडिविजुअल डिसीजन मतलब बाय मेडिकल लॉ आप सर्जरी कराने अकेले भी नहीं आ सकते आपके साथ अटेंडेंट आना जरूरी है राइट सो यू कॉन्ट हाइड समबडी इन कम फॉर सर्जरी इट्स लाइक यू टू बिल्डिंग अटेंडेंट इट्स अ फैमिली डिसीजन एंड इट्स नॉट चीप इट्स नॉट टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज हम हम जो पेशेंट्स को केटर कर रहे हैं देर मिडिल क्लास टू लो मिडिल क्लास एंड दे हैव टू पे अपर्ड फिफ्टी सेवेंटी थाउजेंड वन लैख रुपीज राइट सो हिंदुस्तान में जहाँ पे यू नो पर कैपिटल इनकम ईयरली पर कैपिटल ऑफ जीडीपी डी आठ हजार डॉलर है राइट उसमें पचास हजार इज अ वेरी हाई अमाउंट करेक्ट हमारा एवरेज हाउस होल्ड ऑफ पेशेंट्स जो प्रिशिंग में सर्जरी कराते हैं उनकी एवरेज हाउस होल्ड इनकम इज फिफ्टी सेवेंटी थाउजेंड वॉट दैट मीन इज हम एक पेशेंट को बोल रहे हैं कि आप अपने एक महीने की सैलरी हमारे पास रखिए तो वो डिसीजन इतना छोटा नहीं है तो ये जो फोर्स ऑफ सर्जरी है डॉक्टर्स यू नो आई वुड नॉट गो टू देंड ऑफ सिंग that uh, you know uh, doctors are gods doctors can have a bad day they can sometimes misdiagnose the system but we have built so many checks and balances that even if a doctor has made a symptom made a mistake technology will check pre anesthesia will check diagnostics will check pre anesthesia check in the hospital will check resident medical doctor will check then the surgery will happen so there's so many checks in the system that this kind of takes care of it yeah no no goes to show ki kafi care ke sath ye build kiya hua hai because it's not just you know um you know you replace what was already happening because in an alternative world you're saying ki normal hospital mein jao uh, line mein wait karo khud se insurance clear karwao fir ja ke khud ko admit karwao and fir karo right which is like such a such a long process manual in nature no checks and balances in comparison to what is happening versus doing this uh, is a huge huge commendable thing and is required agar long term build karna hai but uh, you know just quickly probing here again very very sure. uh, interestingly um does this break at scale right kyunki aap itne baar ye kar rahe ho is it is it possible that you know 
एक कहीं सर्जरी इधर उधर हो गई बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी मूविंग पार्ट्स बिकॉज दिस इज ऑपरेशनली सो चैलेंजिंग एंड ऑल्सो दी अदर पॉइंट यू नो दैट अदर पीपल कीप वंडरिंग एंड एंड आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज वेरी क्लियर टू द मासेज विच इज टू से दैट वी सी बैक टू सो यू विल हैव टू शो सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रोथ यू विल हैव टू शो सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू एंड दस यू विल हैव टू बी अग्रेसिव राइट लाइक दिस इज नॉट वेरी एविडेंटली क्लियर क्या ये रियालिटी में होता है इज देर अ रियल प्रेशर ऑन यू एज अ फाउंडर कि अगर हमने नहीं ग्रो किया राइट विल देर बी बैक स्लैश एंड इफ दैट इज ट्रू हाउ डज दैट ड्राइव यू एज अ कंपनी No, no, I think you actually you actually asked two questions. So I think yeah, one yeah. is that, uh, uh, and which is a question for all the all the this slightly new age business model startups, which is operationally sort of, step scale, karo. Operationally scale, and they raise some capital. Okay, VCs ka pressure hai. Correct. So I think uh, let, let me answer this. The most recent. So we so so you have to understand. We started in 2019. Twenty twenty COVID. Twenty twenty one COVID. From twenty nineteen to twenty twenty three. and we've already done 200000 plus surgeries right and we'll do 100000 surgeries this year itself well. so we have scaled but uh, do we have the pressure of our investors hands on no we are extremely lucky that from the first investor we got which is sequoia which is now peak peak 15 to hummingbird which is a uk based investor to epic capital uh, to tiger global you know uh, and to winter capital and maybe couple of other support to investors as well none of them has ever asked us ki why aren't you growing fast or slow ever the only question they have ever asked us is are you sure that no patient is under risk uh-huh. so i think uh, and i think this is by design yeah. when we when we raised our first round of capital uh, we raised you know about 4 million dollars and we were few months old company three co-founders Uh, we had like ten term sheets, and I I think the only way we were segmenting was which is the investor, what is the questions they are asking, and and the investor we took peak fifteen, which was ago that time. Our the guy who sits on our board is Ashish Agarwal. His mom and dad are actually surgeons. They run a small hospital in Ghaziabad. So dad is a general surgeon, mom is a gynecologist. So he understood the pulse. He understood the pulse of the business. I think they evaluated us so deeply. he visited our hospital the only and only investor in our stage 1 series a who mm-hmm. visited our hospital was peak 15 or sicko right we had 10 term sheets some of them offered us better valuation but we went with sicko because the guy on a board understood healthcare he went to the hospitals met our hospital owners asked met our doctors and asked us how are you ensuring that the patient is safe and then he said acha by the way paisa kitna kama rahe ho Right, not because see they are also making into a, a strategic, uh, you know, investment. But first they checked him, uh, you know, what are what are the safety right. measures. So I think we've been very lucky with investors from there on. Every time we've raised capital, we have always chosen on merit. Just very quickly, why do you think there is a narrative that you know VC funded companies get pressured into this growth spectra? Why do you think is that just like media narrative? Does that really happen? Did you get lucky and it's not happening in your case? No, no, no. it's actually see I, now. Let me explain. So I started my first company in 2010, okay. right? So it's not the first time entrepreneur. 2010 yeah, yeah. to 2015 started three ventures. All of them went to zero. Raise zero capital, zero money, right? 2019, the first time we raised capital. So I've seen this a few times over the last 10 to 12 years. And both sides, people say that the lockdown has come. Sorry, my bad. Not lockdown. The downturn has come. In the last two years, the fundraising is not happening. VCs are getting scared. You know, there is a bloodshed in the market. The reality is, this is great. Mm. what had happened is uh 2010 is for the first set of companies got funded the ola the zomato flipkart 2013 14 the second paytm you know uh, razer pay razer pay then there came urban company Correct. then 2018 19 is when pristine uh you know off business, off business. uh some of the mama earth is some of these massive companies got in then the leaser so we are still a very young ecosystem so hum seekh rahe hain to is ecosystem mein hua kya sab logon ko laga ke aur bahut sare logon ne entrepreneurs ko celebrate kiya kisi ne usko forbes ke magazine mein dal diya kisi ne unko uh, you know shark tank bana diya to sabko laga entrepreneurs ki journeys to badi lavish hain lekin unko piche dikhta nahi hai kitna mehnat hota hai so they it attracted a certain set of very very bright by the way individuals who thought this was a quick buck hmm. 
सो द केम इन टू दी यू नो स्टार्ट अप इको सिस्टम जस्ट क्या इसमें तो फटाफट से पैसे बन जाते हैं अब वॉट दे डोंट रियलाइज इस पंद्रह घंटे लगते हैं एवरी डे आज भी चार साल के बाद अब यू नो वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग दिस इज इज लाइक आई थिंक टेन थर्टी इन द नाइट एंड द रीजन वी आर डी लेट इज बिकॉज दी ऑफिस वॉज टिल नाइन थर्टी वी कून गेट फ्री नी दर यू नी दर मी राइट सो पीपल डोंट सी दिस हार्ड वर्क इट ऑल्सो आर वी सी इको सिस्टम वॉज ऑल्सो यंग सो आई थिंक दे ऑल्सो एंडेड ऑफ फंडिंग सम ऑफ द कंपनीज विच वर नॉट बिल्ट ऑन बेसिक्स तो जब एक कंपनी बेसिक्स में बिल्ड नहीं होती ना तो उसका पैसा बनता नहीं है और जब आपका पैसा नहीं बनेगा तो बैंक भी तो आपको बोलेगा ना यार आपने पैसे डाले हैं थोड़ा तो पैसा कमाइए सो ये जो प्रेशर है ना एक्चुअली उस कंपनीज का नेरेटिव है जिन्होंने बहुत पैसा रेस किया मिलियंस मार्केटिंग में डाल दिया और अर्न कुछ भी नहीं किया राइट सो ये प्रेशर उनको आता है यू टॉक टू एनी एनी कंपनी विच इज सॉल्विंग अ रियल नीड एनी कंपनी विच इज एक्चुअली सर्विंग द कस्टमर्स एंड मेकिंग मनी उन पर कोई इन्वेस्टर्स प्रेशर नहीं डालते I'll tell you another thing. The good part is a lot of our VC ecosystem, be the peak 15s of the world, the Excels of the world, uh, you know, the, the Epic Capitals of the world, the Matrixes of the world. So many SoftBank, even to some extent, you know, they have they have also, of course, invested heavily. But especially the ones which are the young, uh, you know, who are supporting the young investors at seed stage, they understand that business is a cycle. Correct. It cannot be upwards. It will go up, it will come down, it will go up again. In fact, in the downturn. the best we see is come to you and tell you hey uh, i hope everything is okay let us know how we can help hmm. so ye jo narrative hai market mein vc bada pressure dalte hain growth karo growth karo actually unhi companies ke liye wo genuinely kuch business nahi bana rahe hmm. but anybody who's building a decent business you talk to those entrepreneurs and they'll tell you that yes we've had hard times yes investors talk to us yes they tell us hey be more prudent but they also ask us don't worry it's going to happen you are running a business दुनिया में एप्पल नहीं अगर स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड चल सकी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट नहीं स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड चल सकी तो यू नो वी शुड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट इवन गूगल एज एट आर टाइम्स फेसबुक एज एट आर टाइम्स एमेजोन एज एट आर टाइम्स यू नो एट होम पेटीएम एज एट आर टाइम वेन देर टू पब्लिक मार्केट जोमैटो एज एट आर टाइम्स सो इट्स ओके सो आई थिंक दैट मेचोरिटी इज देर बट द कमी डोट डू सो आई थिंक दैट इज नेरेटिव टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन सो वी शुड नॉट बी वॉरेड एनी एनी बड़ी रेजिंग कैपिटल बिल्डिंग गुड कंपनीज डोंट बॉर्डर डोंट बी फेयर ऑफ दीज वी सीज दे आर very right. very smart folks like all of us they work very hard they have a different kind of business they want an output they take the highest risk ab bank to paisa nahi dega na aapko right. to agar aapko vc paisa de raha hai aur wo business banane ke liye paisa de raha hai galle pe paisa bana raha hai na sir to agar wo nahi ban raha hai to koi paise wapas mangne nahi ja raha so it's not also right. right but i think the more pertinent question you was asked uh, uh the earlier alongside this question of uh uh किसी को हार्ट डिजीज है तो किसी को पेस मेकर है तो किसी को डायबिटीज है और कोई एकदम फिट है ऑफ डिफरेंट जेंडर कोई मेल है कोई फीमेल है ऑफ डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड्स समबड़ी कम्स फ्रॉम अ रिच फैमिली समबड़ी कम्स एंड हिज वेरी गुड ऑन न्यूट्रिशन समबड़ी कम्स फ्रॉम अ नॉट द बेस्ट मेडिकल बैकग्राउंड सो समाइम हिज इम्यूनिटी इज ऑल्सो कॉम्प्रोमाइज राइट सो एंड देन देर इज पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ यू नो जस्ट रिस्की वर्क लाइफ बैलेंसेज what that means somebody is 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 literally fr- you know literally bothered that they should uh, recover very quickly okay. so that they can rejoin their work because they are losing salary and somebody is okay to take a one month break that's the diversity but every weekend 1000 plus patients go inside and outside the ot in 40 plus cities mm. there is no healthcare institution in the world which manages this level of complexity and we have to ensure that every patient is Not ninety nine percent, sir. Hundred twenty percent safe. So yes, it's hard, hmm. and we accept that. Uh, you know, we accept the we accept the challenge. And hence, for us, you know, I I I was maybe naive enough to once write uh, on uh, LinkedIn that you know sometimes we interview people <laughs> by calling them at eight o'clock in the morning. You know why we do that? आप सोचिए कि एक बार कोविड में सुबह छः बजे एक पेशेंट का कॉल आता है. That they they had they had this bleeding piles, right? So uh, you know, Baba Sir, just come with me. So they 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 had they had blood which was sort of coming out of the body. So it was hemoglobin was dropping, 
दे वर अंडर ट्रीमेंडस पेन द फैमिली वॉज गेटिंग वर्ड के मेरे लव्ड वन की बॉडी से ब्लड निकले जा रहा है इट वॉज इमरजेंसी सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग कोविड ट्वेंटी द पीक वे वेन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यंग पीपल पास वे एंड दिस दिस पर्सन इन द इन थर्टीज राइट दिस द आई थिंक द वेव ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन मे और जून वेन इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट फेल लाइक कोविड इज टेकिंग लाइफ ऑफ यंगस्टर्स एंड नॉट ओल्ड एंड मे बी द टॉलर्स एंड दिस फैमिली वॉज वर्ड ओला वॉज शट डाउन ऊबर वॉज शट डाउन दे दे डिड नॉट हैव अ प्राइवेट व्हीकल सो लोअर मिडिल क्लास फैमिली एंड दे हैड नो वे टू गेट टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड दिस सर्जरी वॉज स्केड राइट वन ऑफ आर कॉलीग्स आउट ऑफ गुड़गांव गॉड अब एट सिक्स डिंट इन्फॉर्म यू एंड दिस इज द सीनियर मोस्ट मैनेजमेंट टुक आउट इज कार गॉट अ पुलिस पास वेन टू साउथ डेली पिक द पेशेंट फ्रॉम होम वेन टू द हॉस्पिटल गॉट दैट पेशेंट एडमिटेड स्टेड देयर फॉर फाइव आवर्स just to ensure that patients are doing okay mm-hmm. now how do i write in a job description that this can happen yeah we Eleven try we try to find out in fact yesterday i was talking to my hr team and he said hush sabse mushkil kaam kisi ne pata kya hai mere ko chahe wo engineering mein technology ka banda main hire kar raha hu chahe main hr mein hu chahe main finance mein hu mujhe ye ensure karna hai ki usko samajh aana chahiye ki kabhi na kabhi koi patient risk pe ho sakta hai aur aapko raat ko uthna padega I'll give an example. There was this patient uh, at a hospital, and his EMI, right? That patient was using an EMI, and he got admitted to the hospital. The surgery was supposed to happen in tremendous pain with kidney stone, you know. And the doctors here, surgeons, here, everything is great. And uh, you know, we have our own like like you said, operational uh, challenges. And that ho- ho- hospital, you know, uh, refused to undergo procedure because the EMI failed. right emi failed now the lending company failed and this guy is kidney stone stone stuck in urethra massive pain managed but very very pain emi has failed what do we do okay. right we got up our finance team at 2 am in the night asked them to send a payment to the patient uh, to the hospital because we can't make a payment to the hospital in cash okay. verified and sent the payment to the hospital to him in the night and got that patient immediately did the surgery now How do I tell my CFO के रात को दो बजे हम आपकी टीम को तंग करेंगे सो आई थिंक वी यूज सम ऑफ दी शार्पर वेज टू जस्ट आइडेंटिफाई टैलेंट एंड समटाइम्स कॉलिंग पीपल एट एट ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग गिव्स अस दैट इन सेट वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट वेरी शेन ऑफ शेन ऑफ इट वी आर ट्राइंग आर ओन मेकिंग आर ओन लिटिल हैक्स टू यू नो जज पीपल्स और और पर्स्पेक्टिव कॉलीग्स कल्चर एंड हिज एम्पथी यू नो एरियाज यू नो वन ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स वी गो रियली रियली आफ्टर इज whenever somebody tells us a, you know is able to bring out a life story like one of the the most favorite questions i have is what was the toughest situation in your life and how do you deal with it because it showcases the true colors in somebody's personality right and i have had situation where somebody said my father didn't allow me to study or you know upwards in himachal It didn't allow me to study wanted me to marry at about 18 i ran away from home came to delhi worked in a call center earned for 2 years went to du got my education done did a job wow. got an mba and today i'm joining the company at a senior level right wow. i mean i have those stories i have stories where a mother said i was in a tough marriage can i you know young got married at early 20s and my husband was abusive and the only way for me to get out was really run away from home Right, and two situations where they said, "Hey, my 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 parents were staying in a small town, uh, with with nobody taking care of them, and I couldn't afford them to, you know, stay in Gurgaon. So I started doing three jobs. I started doing a call center job in the night and started taking tuitions at night so that I can afford a two BHK, so I can bring my parents who are living in Ranchi to the same hometown. To a guy who once came up to me and was wearing." you know uh, iit iit graduate and came up said i have 20 lakh rupee loan i said why do you have a loan he said i was running a startup and it failed i had taken i didn't raise capital i couldn't i took money from friends and family and it all failed so i have to work i i will not be able to work one job i have to do two jobs so that i can return that money now these kind of things bring out the personality and we use maybe maybe not the best ways of hr to f- identify this kind of talent yeah. and we keep doing it but coming back to the question <laughs> i think the question was on operations so yeah. 1000 patients that how do we do it extremely hard we have built uh, 
combination of technology and processes. Mm -hmm. So every surgery which is scheduled over the week, mm -hmm. there is a medical, uh, sorry, scheduled over like next days, there's a medical director team which verifies all patients. Mm -hmm. they, they have a dashboard which gives them a bl blasting view which says, this is the patient, this is the age group, this is their profile, this is their background. So they are doing their own patient checks. Every patient is attached to a hospital. So we have put intelligence using data analytics and pattern analysis simple and when we match a patient to a hospital, we use qualification. So a patient with uh, a 60 year old uh, having an ENT surgery can be operated in hospital A but cannot be operated in hospital B where a 30 year old can operate because of the nature of hospital. Mm. So we have mapped that complexity in the system. Right. So there is an operations team which is checking this complexity and saying, okay, my hospital selection is up to the mark. If this hospital does not have a 20 bedded ICU, if this hospital does not have a super specialist on, on uh, roles, if this hospital does not have a attached a 24 seven ambulance and a tertiary care hospital, mm -hmm. I've, a 45 year old with asthma cannot be operated. So this mm -hmm. is all data analytics. So both these parts are built old. into the system. This is all into the system. Prior to that, when we check, uh, you know, when we do surgeries, we, like I, like I mentioned, we bought all the equipments, mm -hmm. right? So you have a simple thing. Surgery is a basic rule. Hai. I have to, you know, in a very layman language, cut open a body. So the more you have a body, the more risk of infection, risk of recovery, risk of wound not healing, pain, pus, everything is there. So as a medical knowledge, again, in a very simplistic sense, the goal is that incision on the body should be minimalistic, minimally invasive. So we have invested in massive number of equipments and consumables that every surgeon in pristine is most advanced. So the first doctor team is checking, the hospital is verifying, and the equipment is most advanced. And I'm going backwards, okay? Yeah. Usse pehle, har patient ko a care coordinator diya gaya hai. Right. Har patient ko ek insaan manage kar raha hai. Wo aisa nahi hai ki, koi patient ko hum kar raha hai, koi patient ko nahi kar raha hai. Aap garib hai, aap ameer hai, aapke baas Bentley hai, ya aapke baas Maruti, kya bolte hai, 800 hai ya Luna hai. Doesn't matter. Everybody gets an equal care coordinator. You mentioned this before. Who is tracking patient's vitals and patient's record before they get to the hospital. Correct. Then there is a pre-anesthesia team which is checking, like I've talked about, which is checking before the surgery that his mm. patient is okay. And it doesn't stop there. The moment a patient is admitted to the hospital, mm. our patient experience team starts to get activated. Mm. This team of people will reach out to the patient, every patient, every three hours to check, hey, are you doing okay? Is everything great? Right. Aapka, aapko nahi ho, aapka sar mein dard nahi ho, aapko condition to nahi hai. Aapka kamre ka parda to saaf hai. Like we also check that. Aapka AC to chal raha hai. Aapko kaise lag raha hai. Aapko, aapka TV chal raha hai. Aapko koi takleef to nahi ho rahi hai. So by talking to them some aesthetic questions and talking to the health, we know what they're doing. Then every patient vitals are, every hospital has a white labeled pristine app. So every patient vitals are getting recorded in it. So that in the office, we know what's going on, right? Then our surgeons. When our surgeons go to the hospital, when they do the surgery, they will mark in their system the surgery has been done, mm -hmm. right? When they mark in the system surgery has been done, their status in our system changes from pre-surgery to post-surgery. Right. Then a different set of teams manufacture it. Mm -hmm. Then there is patient discharge. A patient will discharge for 100 documents. You know that in India, a patient will discharge for 8 hours. In mm -hmm. Pristine, mein, hamara average time of patient discharge is 1.5 hours. So mm -hmm. a patient will discharge for 12 hours at 12 o'clock, जो डॉक्टर सुबह 8-9 बजे आएंगे और ओके फॉर डिस्चार्ज करेंगे हम रात को एक रात पहले वी आर स्टार्टिंग टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट ओटी नोट डिस्चार्ज समरीज पेशेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स इंश्योरेंस डॉक्यूमेंट डायग्नोस्टिक रिपोर्ट्स पेशेंट वाइटल्स एवरीथिंग स्टार्ट्स टू गेट इनटू द प्लेस सो दैट व्हेन्स द डॉक्टर कम्स इन द मॉर्निंग एट 8:00 एवरीथिंग कैन बी रिकॉर्डेड एंड व्हेन द डॉक्टर सेज एट 10:00 पेशेंट रेडी टू डिस्चार्ज वी कैन रन एंड ज़ूम एंड डिस्चार्ज द पेशेंट सेंड देम टू द हॉस्पिटल सो ऑल दिस स्टार्ट्स टू यू नो just functions like clockwork. And but, this is all the base of our surgeons. We can do everything in the world. And if our surgeon is not good, then the patient's profile is. So we go to the umpteenth level to identify is the surgeon up to the high quality. So there's a surgeon hiring process. How we do it? 
every surgeon who's hired in pristine has to do a certain apart from just his basic education has to be expert in certain qualifying fellowships qualifying diplomas qualifying kind of procedures or trainings right. then they have to do 5 to 10000 surgeries even before they've come to pristine okay. we have realized that as of today we don't have an ecosystem of a very large hospital where there is an assistant 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 so we want to hire very expert doctors so every doctor who comes to pristine has done 5 10000 surgeries we don't get them into the system they run then they undergo various examination they will meet a medical expert they will meet a domain expert and then they will be interviewed with my co-founders who are surgeons themselves that's when we select them mm-hmm. once they are selected they come to our headquarters in gurgaon in hindustan mein kisi bhi shehar mein wo gurgaon aate hain unka training hota hai unka soft skills or surgical skills ka training hota hai because they are surgeons they've done 5 10000 surgeries so we don't really need to train them but it's more like a finishing school but soft skills pe patient se baat kaise karni hai correct patient ko bimari kaise samjhani hai पेशेंट के क्वेश्चंस को कैसे आंसर करना है डिटेल में कैसे चेक करना है कोई चीज मिस कैसे नहीं करनी है ये हम सिखा दें हम यू नो लाइक आई सेड डॉक्टर्स आर नॉट टॉट इन एनी वेज टू बी द बेस्ट यू नो टीचर्स या अ डॉक्टर इज लाइक अ टीचर दे हैव टू लिटरली टेक द पेशेंट एज इट पीपल एंड एक्सप्लेन देम कि यार तुम्हारे को ये बीमारी है okay. तुम्हारे को ये सिम्टम है okay. ये रिकवरी है ये प्रोसेस है ये रिस्क है आपको आप जानते हैं हिंदुस्तान में एवरेज ओपीडी टाइम क्या है सात मिनट दैट मीन्स पेशेंट मीट्स डॉक्टर इन सेवन मिनट द डॉक्टर से यू डन हो गया मेरा ओपीडी वी ट्रैक पेशेंट इंट्रैक्शन डॉक्टर एवरेज टाइम इज अपर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिनट्स सो दैट मीन्स वी वॉन्ट आर डॉक्टर्स टू टॉक टू द पेशेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एंड क्वालिटी टाइम ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एंड एक्सप्लेन दम केयर तुम्हारे को प्रॉब्लम क्या है यू नो वॉट्स गोइंग रॉन्ग विद यू एंड हाउ विल इट बी करेक्टेड राइट सो जस्ट investing in doctors then doctors come in they are taught they are trained then they are sent to hospital then they see surgeries because we are also using advanced medical equipment so we make them familiar then they go to their cities and get attached to a mentor who undersees their procedures even though these doctors are very advanced for about 2 weeks then they go through mentoring sessions then they go live so a doctor proceed me aake live hone jaane mein bahut sare doctors ke you know sometimes doctors complain about that that hey i am a surgeon i am qualified Correct. I have been in procedure I have been doing surgeries I have been in hospitals for 10 years 20 years Correct. my age is 40 year old 45 year old 50 year old I have done 10000 surgeries why are you training us yeah. and for us the only and only reason is sir we have no ways to judge how will you react when you are in the OT and when a patient is complicated so we trying to preempt everything correct so i think just fixing the doctors yeah. fixing the patients fixing advanced medical equipments attaching the patients to the right doctors monitoring them pre surgery during surgery post surgery and taking care of their discharge and then sending them home we take care of it yeah wow but it khatam nahi hua acha jab ek patient pristine se ghar jata hai we track them for 2 months so yeah. you re- you there go follow up calls there is a follow up team jo pehle 3 din mein aapko phone karegi 7 din mein aapko reach out karegi aapki free opd karegi ya free consult karegi Right. क्योंकि अगर पेशेंट ठीक नहीं हुआ तो बहुत दिक्कत है सर hmm. तो आपको डॉक्टर से मिलाएगी जबरदस्ती आप नहीं आना चाहें फिर भी मिलाएंगे हम आपको पैसे भी नहीं लेंगे आपसे लेकिन डॉक्टर से मिलाएंगे आपको और आपको काउंसलिंग या नहीं आपको डॉक्टर को मिलना है बट देर आर सर्टन पेशेंट आर लाइक वी आर डूंग वेल आई गॉन्ट टू माई होम टाउन आई एम ग्रेट आई डोंट नीड बट एटी फाइव परसेंट पेशेंट कम बैक एंड मीट द डॉक्टर सेवेंटी ऑट परसेंट पेशेंट मीट द डॉक्टर ट्वाइस देन वी रीच आउट टू दैम इन थर्टी डेज सिक्सटी डेज आफ्टर सिक्सटी डेज वेन द पेशेंट ना आई एम गेटिंग वेल now i'm super doing uh, you know okay that's when we say okay now the engagement has ended and even then there are certain patients like me meri shoulder surgery 6 mahine ho gaye aur mujhe abhi lagta hai mera dard nahi hai to ye bhi hai hamara 99.9% ho jata hai but 2-4% maybe one two patients every time say you know maybe maybe my head still hurts maybe my varicose vein mein thoda sa blue reh gaya hai मेरा मेरा नी 120 ट्वेंटी डिग्री तो हो रहा है नाइन्टी डिग्री नहीं हो रहा है सो आई थिंक हेल्थ केयर इज अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग जर्नी एंड वी आर इन इट नो वाओ आई थिंक एज यू वर एक्सप्लेनिंग लाइक देर आर सो मेनी मूविंग पार्ट्स एंड इट लुक्स लाइक यू हैव गॉन अबव एंड बी ऑन टू सॉल्व सो मेनी ऑफ दैम अ वेरी क्विकली राइट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस साइकिल इज सिंस देर आर सो मेनी मूविंग पार्ट्स इज देर नो वन पर्सन ऑन एंटिटी विच वुड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल right you could argue that you know uh, that the patient's life or that surgery uh, is going to be in transit 
with every other department right at every stage but is there one point of authority or one point of concern right who will take complete responsibility yeah cha nahi this is this patient is my responsibility it can be a person it can be the company how does that work so end to end the only and only person responsible or the patient is christian care okay right like there's no question around it okay it doesn't matter we don't own the hospitals right it doesn't matter it is somebody else's ot it is our doctor our equipment our patient our diagnosis our symptoms we are responsible the only and i think the aspect you covered was that there is almost like a compartmentalized uh, correct point, point and we are using technology to connect it all got so it. that anybody wants to look at it everybody has visibility everybody has visibility got it right and then there is the medical department medical directorate which we call which sits on top of this which is looking through every step hmm. so there is only one department in pristine or one function in pristine which has insight to everything which is medical directorate they can right. see the patient through before the doctor once they met the doctor the diagnosis the uh, the admission the actual right. surgery the patient files the discharge post discharge recovery see we also have to understand there is it is very sensitive patient information right so there is a privacy angle so we can't open it to everyone right but there is electronic records so we compartmentalize and we have created security layers only medical directorate has the access to look at all and even they not everybody can be there are only few senior folks who can look at all and others on case by case basis so that we can track uh, a, uh, every patient but hands down a patient enters pristine care the responsibility starts from pristine care ends with pristine care starts from the founders ends with the founders starts from the colleagues and ends with the colleagues. there's no question got it got it i think that clarifies um the last bit was you know around the attrition in the company right yeah. and there was a lot of like you know lot of numbers almost to the tune of you know 100% yeah. 100% attrition in certain teams what is the reality why is it happening is it a culture thing is it because it's going fast is it true at all uh, what is the cause there no no absolutely let me let me give you a quick snap a stat rather we started hiring in 2019 outside the founders and maybe couple of folks right okay there are 200 people in pristine this is 2023 we started in 2019 so this mean like 4 years there are 200 people in pristine who are more than 3 years in the company 200 people all right there are uh, th- sorry this is 200 people more than 3 years right there are 100 people in the company who are more than 4 years 100 oh, wow. people in the company who are more than 4 years that means they joined yes, us before the start. they joined us before september of 2023 oh sorry september of 2019 yeah before september of 2019 they joined us we started hiring in 2019 100 people like that yeah who are more than 4 years in the company and there are another 100 which are going to just complete 3 years by december in the next 4 months yeah right in our top management so you have to understand our company is divided into very two large parts correct there is a frontliners right right there is this the care coordinators correct who are with the patients yeah. there is this field team on the ground which is helping with the mission discharge there is a team which is helping cab booking with attendant booking correct. doctor travel equipment movement these are frontliners yeah. how many people here yeah maybe let's take a step back first and just understand yeah, the organizational like, like, uh, You know, out of nearly two thousand people, this number is about thirteen, fourteen hundred. Got it. So total employees around about two thousand. Two thousand. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred people. These thirteen, fourteen hundred people, seven hundred care coordinators, two hundred ops, hundred people in insurance ops, hundred people uh, helping insurance, hundred people in uh, patient uh, travel, hundred people in food, hundred people helping doctors. So almost like thirteen hundred people. Okay. These pe- these folks are the first time or the second time hires, uh, uh, like first or second time. Uh, uh jobs right they are in their first or second jobs rather right in the average salary 3 3 साढ़े तीन लाख है right this is that workforce jinka genuinely bahut badhiya career path nahi hai it's a reality right it's a problem which bfsi has not been able to solve it's right. a problem with frontliners in healthcare has not been able to solve not just pain do you know the attrition rate in hospitals of nurses is literally 80% right in nurses which are the front no doctors the nurses 80% is these are the front right. liners for us these are the people who are front line right. in cartration bahut high hai genuinely high hai and i think uh, uh, 
we would love we would love for it to be low but the reality is it is high and i think it's not easy for them because technically we are working 24/7 right there is a roster system and everybody has a roster but aap ek care coordinator hai aapne ek patient ko hospital admit karaya raat ko 2 baje subah 6 baje unko koi takleef ho gayi wo seedha aapko call karega wo ye thoda dekhega aap so rahe ho correct aap ek insurance wale ho aapne insurance ke process kiya hai aap ghar chale gaye ho sunday sham ko tpa band ho gaya patient ko kya farak pad raha hai correct aapko to insurance processing karni hai tpa ke koi lena dena nahi hai aap ek इक्विपमेंट मैनेज करते हो संडे को भी सर्जरी होती है तो आपका संडे क्या है right. आप एक डॉक्टर टीम को सपोर्ट करते हो डॉक्टर ने सुबह 10 बजे जाना था डॉक्टर की सर्जरी इमरजेंसी प्री, प्रीवियस पेशेंट की डिले हो गई है आपको अगली सर्जरी हैंडल करनी है डजेंट मैटर यू आर ऑन लीव राइट सो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हार्ड हार्ड रियालिटी और हेल्थ केयर इज टफ आई मीन थिंक ऑफ इट माई वाइफ इज अ डॉक्टर एंड ड्यूरिंग कोविड शी वॉज वर्किंग विद ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ नॉन स्टॉप पी पी किट in in the government hospital where she had 200 babies literally every day and she could not go to the restroom yeah. the reality is healthcare is an extremely extremely hard industry and these frontliners and hats off to them like we can't like kaun kaun de na nahi de sakte unka wo jitna actually very honestly doctors to patient ka khayal rakhte hain based on their skill ye log patients ka khayal rakhte hain based on just their sheer hard work like not skill sheer presence and isme attrition kafi high hai we would love it to be low but it's high but then there is our another team the corporate team the hr the finance the technology the uh, you know marketing the senior leadership the category managers yeah. uh, the legal team right the insurance leadership the uh, recruiters there's a brand team like also. brand team right so all of this team product team this is like a typical corporate team इसमें हमारा ट्रिशन बत्तीस तैतीस परसेंट है यू नो रियालिटी हम तो चाहते हैं कि ये भी पंद्रह परसेंट हो दस परसेंट हो बिकॉज रीफिलिंग एंड री हायरिंग इज द हार्डेस्ट जॉब यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एज अ कंपनी इट इज हार्डेस्ट टू हायर पीपल एंड इन स्टार्टअप्स एंड इन फास्ट ग्रोइंग स्टार्टअप्स एंड दे आर इन हेल्थ केयर सो वंस वी हायर वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू लेट दम गो एट सो दिशन इज अबाउट थर्टी थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सी द रियालिटी इज इंडिया की पहली टेक इंडस्ट्री शुरू हुई थी इन्फोसिस से विप्रो से टेक महिंद्रा से इन्फोसिस की अट्रेशन 29 परसेंट टेक महिंद्रा विप्रो की 23 परसेंट है एमेजोन की 69 परसेंट है राइट एवरेज स्टार्टअप की हिंदुस्तान में 40 से 45 परसेंट है सो so, हमारी जो 35 फाइव परसेंट अट्रेशन है एक्चुअली नॉट दैट बैड हाँ जो लार्ज पॉपुलेशन है विच इज 70 परसेंट ऑफ अ कंपनी वो दैट्स फ्रंट लाइन इट वी वेर वी इट्स इट्स नॉट द इट्स नॉट राइट वे टू क्लब बोथ ऑफ दम टूगेदर वी हैव टू लुक एट डिस्प्रीट एंड आई थिंक समटाइम्स पीपल and folks don't look at the street so attrition is a challenge for a for a frontliner workforce it is the same challenge any healthcare institution goes through it is the same challenge any bfsi goes through any uh, you know back end support company goes through any warehousing operations logistic company goes through right. but then there is a front end which is ki 30 35% is not good but you know uh, it's not it's, as bad as the 100% it's not bad at 40% claimed. 45% jo ki average startup ki right. india mein chal raha got it got it nahi i think that puts things into perspective you know or right? ek uh, hum log kal discuss kar rahe the huh. in the last and any you would understand when we started pristine in 2019 we were at zero hmm. we will do 1000 crores this year yeah. and in the space of 4 4 and a half years we've come this far yeah. and we have done two major buybacks correct humne pichle 3 saal mein har saal iso buyback karte hain aur hamare iso bhi fantastic hai uh, unlimited holding hai that means even if you leave the company you don't have to sell today you can keep holding them on accelerated buyback hai kal kal ko kuch naya change ho gaya company acquire ho gaya strategic move ho gaya you will get you know you will get acceleration and everybody even who joins the company today jab company zero pe thi tab bhi unko 1 rupaye pe milta tha and you know if you understand if you know some of the folks will understand esops there is a difference between their uh, strike price it could be face value or it could be market value everybody in the company gets an esop at face value of rupee 1 it doesn't matter you join 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 on day 1 or when the company is a unicorn everybody get gets at face value so everybody gets the benefit day 1 hum do bari pichle 3 saal mein buyback kar chuke even in march the coming march we already we have already announced that we will do a buyback worth 10 million dollars upwards of 200 people will make money on that in this environment in this environment and we have hired 600 people in the last one quarter 
Wow. Right. So, so I, I think a lot of people put out as with the pluck out a number, they have no context and just kind of goes out in the yeah. moment. And also okay, in, a, all right. in a in a space where you know in healthcare, in a model which was not proven before, this is the yeah. India first model, right? As a koi comparable to here in the US. Me. So history. yeah, no, I think. You know, I I I, I would uh, a lot of people also tell us yeah. that we have uh, really really innovated on a business model, but the reality is. This business model fragmentedly existed for ages. Correct. सदियों से चलता आ रहा है कि एक बहुत अच्छे डॉक्टर बाहर अपना क्लिनिक करते हैं और वो अपना हॉस्पिटल नहीं बना सकते हैं, so they go to a hospital and they do the surgery. Correct. All Pristine did was they got a huge surgeons, they got all of them on their payrolls or their as in employees, they gave them massive support of doctor management, of equipments, of advanced technology, of insurance, and told them. That you will have never. Do, do you know in majority hospitals, doctors have targets to acquire patients. Oh. That's do you know why doctors oh, right. join. They are us? responsible for lead generation. Also, they are right? responsible for getting the patient in pristine. Mm. Every patient is acquired by pristine directly. That doesn't mean a doctor wants to refer a patient. We will not take it. Of course. But every patient is acquired by pristine directly, and it's a business decision because we don't want to be dependent on an individual. Correct. So doctors join us because they don't have to attract patients. They get extremely highly paid. Our payout and salary structures are better than any corporate hospital in India. Any, any corporate hospital in India, we are most highly paid, right? And then we gave them so much support. So that's why doctors joined us. And then we gave them our clinics. Then we gave them hospitals. So it's an existing model. We just organized it, put a lot of technology around it, put massive processes, and scaled it to our next level. Yeah, no, but that's commendable to see because we think about these. You know, we say that India. Has copycat models, etc. Yeah. Right? How, although I have this entire theory about it, um, this model is definitely unique. India first, yeah. Uh, and yeah, although you know it existed in silos, you've just built together everything really well. Yeah. Um, this has been very interesting. I think just to hear your side and clarify so many things because it just makes sense, right? Like we need to hear both sides of the story, and just you've been able to really comprehensively uh, explain what stands behind it. On a more human lens, as we you know perhaps end, I want to understand like as a founder, you also have you know your own sort of ambition, emotions, uh, running the day to day. It's been a grind, right? Yeah. Uh, and that has been evident, right? Because the company cannot grow and cannot do the impact that it has unless it's been a grind. Uh, but incidents like these, right? There was of course an unfortunate fatality as well. Yeah. Um, a life was lost. Um, These will happen from time to time. Yeah. It is very unfortunate. Yeah. What does that do to you on a human level as a founder, right? Like, how do you yeah. make peace with it? Because you are in this business, like, what is it like? Because very I'm hard. sure you set out to build a business. I, I'm not sure how much of this was known in foresight, right? So not all known. I'm trying to understand not is known. how do you make honestly, peace? Yeah, no, no, absolutely. No, I think. Uh, see, I think uh, uh, what you are, I think, refer to is uh, a patient uh, not yeah. making it. See, I think uh, you know you have to uh, you have to understand. Uh, just like uh, you know, I'm a non-medical. Yeah. Uh, even though both my co-founders are surgeons, I'm a non-medical. Right? Come from a tech industry. I was a turban company building salon at home, and very different challenge. Amazing company. I love the people, but I had not. And and fortunately for me, I I think the only demise in my family which I had seen mm. was my grandfather. In '92, I was six year old, so didn't really have memories. So for me, human life. Was pretty much taken for granted, yeah. right? so it is very hard. <coughs> but but the reality is, we are in a business, in a function where sometimes human lives will be lost, mm. and we can't escape it. Yeah. Other other, if I'm in a cab industry, sometimes there will be an accident. If I'm running a hotel industry, sometimes somebody will, there will be a fire and somebody will jump from the floor. If I'm in a factory, a labor will laborer will get hurt. So I think we have to accept. I think there is a there is a context which we're trying to see. You know, in India, unfortunately, the average mortality rate in hospitals is upwards of 25-26 percent. Right, a lot of people place it between 24 percent. Some place it 28 percent. There is a huge government record out there, but it is in the uh, you know in India hospital rate is about 25-26 percent. In in private hospitals, yes. it is lower, but it is about 18 percent. In planned surgeries, and I'm just bringing out the fun. In planned surgeries, which are less less life threatening, it is about three percent. Right, right. 
That means every third patient in a planned surgery can actually lose their life in India. Christine has done over two and a half lakh surgeries or two lakh surgeries. In less than 10 cases, there has been this extremely, extremely unfortunate outcome, mm -hmm. right? And so, so, the, so the number of patients which have had a tough outcome or couldn't make it from the two and a half lakh surgeries we have done, that and number is, is not even 10, right? Uh, I would live with zero. It's hard to live with 10. But then the reality is can't escape it. The first time where a patient's life was lost, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think I couldn't sleep for two days because I had never seen in my life. And my wife, uh, you know, came up to me and said that I hand over. And she was, she was, a, she was working in a government hospital in that time. Uh, and she said, I hand over two dead bodies a day, right? So you have to, you know, like that's, and it's, it's nerve wracking. Yeah. It's nerve wracking to just live through it. I couldn't sleep for two days, didn't eat. Uh, I, uh, you know, I've never worn the shoes I was wearing the first time when a patient uh, didn't make it. Proceed. I've never worn those shoes. It was the day one of my shoes, I have new shoes. And I've never worn that in my life ever. So it, it's not easy for having, yeah. having said that. And I think as a founder, uh, it just gives you an extra push. Uh, extra push to go the extra mile. There was this patient uh, just a few days ago uh, in Bangalore. Unka cataract surgery ona tha and with like literally no eyesight, no eyesight. I, the surgery was scheduled on a Sunday and on Saturday night we realized that the lens, there was a particular lens for the surgery uh, that was unavailable in our warehouse. Mm -hmm. And suddenly they said there was a panic. We said, okay, Let's do the surgery on a Monday and we informed the patient. Patient told us that I am blind, literally, literally dying daily because I can't walk in the house. I live alone, right? I walk and I die and I fall and I'm hurting my forehead, I'm hurting my hands. And you are saying that you're going to delay a surgery by a day. Do you understand what that means? This is like, I think, 9.30 on a Saturday. We, we, we said, okay, not happening. Sunday morning, five o'clock, we got a major multinational factory open. And I'm not going to give you the name, but we got that factory open with like upteen requests. We got, took the lens, took an eight o'clock flight to Bangalore, landed at 11 o'clock, operated on the patient at one o'clock, just to ensure that the patient can have the procedure done. They can remain admit for a day, get discharged later and can restore their vision. I think this this fear pushes you beyond the boundaries to do stuff like this, and it's it's not it's not us. Yeah. There have been cases where Pristine's employees have donated blood because a patient's HB11 was down. There have been patient when cases where somebody has drove from Pune to Bangalore overnight because a consumable got over and the surgery was next day morning. There have been times when a doctor slept at the hospital on the floor just to ensure they felt the patient might have pain because his immunity is low. There have been instances when a patient's attendant, you know, attendant got worried and somebody stayed with them for the night just to console them. Even today, when a new hire comes to Pristine, we take them through admission discharge, stay overnight in the hospital so that they can experience what what the patient was. There have been times when we have flown doctors across city when a doctor fell sick and could not operate on a patient. So we flew a doctor from a different city. There is a surgery of 50,000 or 20,000 surgery and you have to go to the last minute and take a ticket to the airport and you have to go to the airport and return flight. Hai. Correct. But we've done all that. Hmm. And not once. These things happen every week because it's a human being involved. Right. And I think so these extra this sensitivity, uh, uh, this fears push you to do things like this, and then it pushes you to make tremendous processes. If if the, there's an alert team in Pristine, made only senior most members and doctors, if an alert comes into their group or an alert system that a patient might be in trouble, they leave everything, everything, and they are all on calls, they are all on the field, they will drive, take flights, take trains, do whatever 
but patient becomes a priority right you know every we have recently started doing something unique we have our oath we have our vision before the meetings of non medico teams we are putting that vision on the on the board so aap yaad kar lo ki aap yahan pe sirf ho ke patient hona chahiye uski care karna hai sabse expert doctor sabse advanced medical equipment aur ek bhi process nahi toot sakta correct we track how many patients got delayed reaching home by 30 minutes we track how many patients got the room from the time to their reception to the room hum ye number track karte hain kitne patients ko delay hua aur aag lag jati hai office mein aaj uh, you know i don't know it is 10 o'clock you come on a thursday you come on a friday you go to the office at 10 o'clock there will be some teams working out figuring out yeah. kya kal hamari you know 6700 patients ka surgery hai in 40 cities in the country let's just hope everything is great yeah okay. i remember so the this, first this pushes you yeah sorry to interrupt but the first time i actually visited you in person was sometime in 22 i think uh, last year sometime early um, and this was a saturday at 5 o'clock yeah. uh, and i remember we were in a glass sort of uh, cubicle and i just like there was this energy right yeah. and passion in the room yeah. uh, that was just hard to digest yeah. i remember i was like ki wow what must it like to be working towards yeah. uh, a combined passion yeah. that drives you to be there at that hour at that point in day right i clearly remember no no um, and uh, no i yeah. no i think uh, uh, but but the, but the question right the that fear hmm. and then sensory drives you to hire the right people and sometimes call them at 8 or 8 o'clock in the night or interview them at 12 pm in the 12 am in the night hire the right doctors make the right processes make the right technology put extra people when required work with the best hospitals work with the best equipments so that every patient uh, every patient is like super 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 uh, secure so it pushes you but to be honest wherever i ever hear the news even if it's once in 6 months 7 months and whenever a tough news happens it's still the same it is yeah. still very hard yeah. and i don't think i ever learn i i learn of it you know and right. you talk about uh, I, i think you point out another thing the grind and the passion uh we are we have come through covid we are a young company which went down right surgeries didn't have and doctors couldn't get out patients go to hospitals were shut right we just to survive we started doing anything we could we started distributing sanitizers we started distributing right. masks to jab amazon flipkart shut tha pristine ke ground pe sanitizer aur mask bech raha tha just because hame apne 100 employees ko paisa dena tha salary dena and we kept doing for a year fir unhone sanitizer becha fir mask becha fir oximeter becha fir sanitizer ka stand aaya tha wo pair wala wo bhi becha yeah september 21 we said yaar sab kya kachra bech rahe hain and let's shut this down the com- the back is uh, you know covid wave is ended we are back on track but then a few good smart folks said hey we have developed capabilities we have developed e-commerce we have developed distribution we have developed warehousing we know how to do okay. returns we have no how to do logistics why don't we start something and out of nowhere without a business plan we started a company called bdxp yeah. september 21 we launched that company this this year we will do 100 million dollars on bdxp in under 2 years it's the fastest growing d2c brand in the country ever and i think you asked about that saturday night spirit so if you want to know the spirit of pristine care come to our office 8 pm saturday and you will know what we are built of yeah and no no commendable job with bdxp because i was also like i think in one of these conversations itself i realized that btxp was a part of pristine yeah. care so many people i think yeah. are not consciously aware yeah. uh, about the very same so it's very commendable it was born inside of the company as you mentioned born right? out of accident without a business plan from <laughs> covid that is incredible but yeah no i think that just puts the human in front of the you know entrepreneurship glamour uh, all of this right you just understand that healthcare is difficult playing with human lives is not possible you're not playing chancy ne bhai this is a very trust business when you are a healthcare you're not uh, you're building a business but you are first responsible for the people uh, and that's a huge responsibility there is fear attached to it um and then there is responsibility which you have of course uh, enabled and shown with great character so i think it's lovely to mention that and i don't think i've heard you talk about it in that exact a tone before so i think that's really really uh, nice of you to mention 
I think as we end, right, and I think this has been a super intense discussion, but I think one that was really required, uh, it clarifies so much of what the pristine model does. Um, I remember you always as that, uh, you know, in the first conversation we ever had, you mentioned you are that uh, kid in the paratha factory, right? Yeah. And and this is your paratha factory. Yeah. Um, if you had to, you know, uh, this has been, um, I wouldn't say a turbulent time, but there's been so much that's been happening, right? The company has grown. You just spoke about 600 new people in the last quarter that you have added. Um, what would you have to share as we end in terms of just core learnings about what the job entails, right? Yeah. Uh, what it means to be founder, really, that nobody else will tell you. What would you have to say? No, I think, uh, you know, you, you, you talk about being resilient uh, and, you know, tough times. You know, uh, I, I, I was lucky enough to, uh, you know, uh, study uh, study in a, in a very, very high quality institution abroad in the U.S. And I remember uh, going through that institution and I was involved in everything on campus. And there were so many institutions, so many times they said, uh, hey, towel head, uh, you know, Talibani, and uh, I don't know, go back to your country, don't kill us. And there were so many things. So it's, it's not the first time, right? I, I remember I, I thought I will become an investment banker. Uh, and I started to go into that. And everybody said, hey, you need to be six feet, you need to be white, and you need to be drop dead handsome to be an investment banker in the US. And you are none of them. And I ended up becoming one before chucking it all to come back to India. So being resilient is, I think, part of our part of our personality. But I think uh, uh, beyond the beyond the aspect of what founder founder is, I think I want to actually touch base on something different. For me, I think our generation right now, especially in India, yeah, uh, we have a responsibility, man. Do you know there is two thirty one million? middle class in India right now. That is literally, population of America is 300 million. Yeah. We are 300 million people in the age group of 25 to 30. Right? We are an economy which has, uh, you know, which is, which is growing at the fastest pace of any large country. We have the economic dividend, or rather not the economic, the uh, you know, um, how do you put it? And I'm maybe maybe forgetting the word. The demographic dividend. Demographic dividend is it? We have the demographic dividend on our side, and we have a leadership right at the top, which is driving us like there is no tomorrow. Yeah. Right? India is the biggest startup in the world for me right now. Yeah. We are going to be a seven trillion dollar economy by 2030, and I keep telling all my friends. There is nowhere in the world you should be, but you should be in India. It's all happening here. So yeah. I think, first of all, as a founder and as a generation of this, I think this time is not going to end. I, I actually learned of a very interesting stat. The per capita income in India right now, and maybe the average youth population and age, is the same as China in 2007. Oh, wow. And that's been the golden years for China, 2007 yeah. to 2018, 2019. Yeah. Right before probably COVID wave hit and some of the changes happened. So we are going to be in a place where the world is not going to look at anything but look at India. Yeah. Right? So first of all, as a founder, for me, that's the biggest macro which drives me daily. I think the second thing which I also keep uh, sharing with people is, Khuli aakho se apne dekhne hai ko. Hame aakhe band kar ke sapne nahi dekhne hai. Khuli aakho se dekhne hai aur yaad rakhne hai. But mehinat we have to work very hard. Yeah. See, you have to understand, there are a lot of cricketers who are as talented as Virat Kohli. But how many become Virat Kohli? How many train two, three hours a day forever? I, I saw this Linter interview where he said, in 2016, I gave up Chola Batura and it has been seven years I have not touched one. How many people can make that sacrifice and have that perseverance? Mm -hmm. So if you really want to make it, Really want to make it? It requires hard work. I have not seen an astronaut, uh, you know, make it by putting in 10, 15 hours of just body conditioning. I have not seen an IS top an IS or qualify for INS without putting in 15 hours a day. I have not seen a sports person eating, sleeping, exercising, repeat for 10, 12 years before they win an Olympic medal. So you are not going to be a founder of a large company if you not willing to, put, to put in massive amounts of hard work and I'm 
यू नो एज ऑनेस्टली एज आई कैन टेल यू ये जो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस का थियोरी है ये गलत नहीं है बट ये सब पे अप्लाई नहीं होता है इट इज़ अ चॉइस माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड स्टेज इन कैनेडा फोर फिफ्टी नाइन पी एम ऑन अ फ्राइडे हिज वर्क फोन गोज ऑफ एट एम ऑन अ मंडे इट गोज ऑन उसका मैनेजर उसे फोन भी नहीं कर सकता एंड ही इज दैट्स द वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस ही वॉन्ट्स बट द कंपनी ही वर्क विद और ही वॉन्ट्स टू वर्क विद गोज फाइव परसेंट अ ईयर इट्स अ बिहिमित इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ स्टार्ट अप फाउंडर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ग्रो टू हंड्रेड परसेंट अ ईयर थ्री हंड्रेड परसेंट अ ईयर वी वर ग्रोइंग इट फाइव एक्स अ ईयर फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स देन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड आपको संडे को भी काम करना पड़ेगा रात को दस बजे करना पड़ेगा आठ बजे भी करना पड़ेगा और और जितने फाउंडर्स और जितने स्टार्टअप के यू नो यंग लीडरशिप है वो आपको ये बता नहीं रही है लिंकड इन पर लिख नहीं रही है बट दे आर पुटिंग इन आवर्स एंड आवर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क मैसिव परसिवेरेंस डेली फेलियर्स मैसिव इंस्पिरेशन एंड पर्सनल सेक्रीफाइस टू मेक इट राइट यू डोंट बिकम अ जेप्टो और अ जेरोजा और अ फ्लिपकार्ट और अ इंडिया स्टार्टअप विच ग्रोज एट यू नो सिक्स परसेंट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वेन द वर्ल्ड इज अंडर गोइंग रिसेशन विदाउट आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द लीडरशिप लिटरली ट्रेवलिंग एंड मीटिंग पीपल फॉर फिफ्टीन आवर्स अ डे इट जस्ट डजन है सो दिस द थिंग्स विच पीपल वोट टेल यू इज नो फाउंडर हैज एवर हैड अ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस एवर इट्स इम्पॉसिबल या दैट्स दैट्स सो क्रूशल एंड आई थिंक दैट्स सच अ लवली नोट टू एंड ऑन बिकॉज यही है आई थिंक इट्स नॉट रोजी एंड इफ यू आर यू नो लुकिंग एट द ब्राइट साइड यू ऑल्सो हैव टू लुक एट वॉट गोज ऑन बिहाइंड टू मेक इट हैपन विच इज ऑल द नो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस द रिजिलियंस द बैड डेज द द थिंग्स दैट विल यू नो गो रॉन्ग इन द कंपनी जेट यू विल परसिवियर एंड बिल्ड इट आउट बिकॉज यू नो स्टार्टअप बाई नेचर आर डूइंग दीज डिसप्टिव थिंग्स जो बड़ी कंपनीज नहीं कर रही तो उन्हें कम टाइम में करना है सो इट नीड्स टू बी यूर फाइटिंग फेलियर यू आर स्टैक अगेंस्ट बींग फेलियर दस में से नौ ने फेल होना है करेक्ट सो जब आपको पता है कि स्टार्टिंग ही नाइन्टी परसेंट चांस ऑफ फेलियर है you <laughs> you don't have a choice uh, but that's lovely i think i'm so glad you mentioned it uh, because somebody needs to and i think more people need to voice it out uh, and it's more important to realize it but this has been such a pleasure as always harsh i think uh, uh, i feel really fortunate to just know you in my personal capacity as well and every time we have such a conversation i'm always left in awe with the authenticity the clarity uh, the resilience right i always remember that Uh, you mentioned that uh, you could have done anything uh, but start a company at a point right yeah. because you spent 5 years uh, three startups did not work and yeah. then you worked at urban company built that you know salon business as yeah. a seek uh, with no experience yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, then and it just kept taking off yeah. and from then to here uh, to this unique disruptive model in healthcare which builds trust uh, and just changes the experience for so many people getting surgeries done uh, in the space is just amazing so it's thank been you. it's been a pleasure uh, as always uh, and i'm so glad we did this thank you so much